Hey guys, this is a setup video for your brand new iPhone 16 Pro. So if you guys have an iPhone 16 Pro Max, it's gonna be the exact same thing. But anyways, let's just get started. So first of all, you guys should know what buttons are for. So here's for your camera, power button. On the other side, you guys have your volume. This right here is a customized button. So you guys can customize it or just use it for your silent. And uh, this right here, that's where your SIM card tray is at, which is something that we're going to have to take a look at right now. So like I mentioned, your SIM card tray is right here. You guys will have to use this to take it out. So what you have to do is just push this in. Now, this is the tool that you guys use that for. It seems like your box, you guys lost it. Just use an earring and just take it out like so. And your SIM card will look something like this. Now, what SIM card does your iPhone use? Well, Actually, all iPhones, all new iPhones, use the exact same one, the Nano one. So we're just gonna take out the Nano one. SIM card's not the same thing on SD card. An SD card's for your memory, storage. SIM card is for your phone to be used as a phone. So we're gonna put that in. Now if you're taking a look at it this way, that's the wrong way. Flip it around, then put it in. There you go. You guys can see it doesn't slide anywhere, it stays still. That way you know you're putting it the right way. Then what you have to do is just push it in and you're done. Now, do you need to put your SIM card before you get started? Not really, you guys can put it on later, but just to make things easier, go ahead and do it right now. Now, this could be a new SIM card, does not come with your phone. Could be from your phone, your other older phone, you guys can just transfer it over here, just put it in like so, or get a new SIM card could be using the same phone number that you has have at the moment, or it could be a new phone number. But again, that does not come with your phone. Now that you've done that, we're gonna turn on your phone for the very first time. So, your power button's right here on the side. Hold on to it. We're gonna power it on for the very first time. Just hold on until you guys see an Apple logo. So here's my Apple logo. Once you guys see that Apple logo, just let it be, and then you guys will see the welcome screen. So here's the welcome screen, just swipe up and select your language. So this part is actually really, really easy. You will see a whole list of languages to choose from. There's quite a bit. If yours is not right here, I'm sorry, but hey, it should be here. Going to English, if that's your language, and then choose your country or region. So right here, scroll down and look for your country or region. Now it should be here. If you guys don't see it, then choose whatever's closest, I guess, but it should be on this list, because the list is quite big. And I wanna show you most of the list, at least. Actually, let's go throughout the whole list so you guys can see what's available at the moment. But um, once you see it, go ahead, select it. Most likely, it's gonna be all the way in the top, right here, and then appearance. So appearance. This is really up to you. Default's the smallest one. Then you've got medium, which you guys will notice the text a little bit bigger and then large. So everything is a little bit more bold, a little bit bigger. Again, it depends on you guys, what you guys are comfortable with. Can you guys change this later on? Yes, you can. So whatever you guys select right now, we can change it later on. In this case, I'm gonna go for default because that's what I like. Continue on, quick start. Quick start, if you guys have an older iPhone, older iPad, go ahead and use quick start. All you guys have to do is bring that phone or iPad near this, have your Bluetooth turned on, and then you will see a screen popping up on your older iPhone or older iPad. But if you guys are brand new to this, just set up without any other device. Then go on and choose your Wi-Fi network. Put in your password for that Wi-Fi network. Once you guys have put in your password, it should connect up. Can you use a hotspot? Yes, you can. A hotspot, after all, is a Wi-Fi network. This will not know that it's a hotspot and you will not be able to use it. So you guys can definitely use a hotspot from your phone if that's where you're using it from or a hotspot from any other device that you guys have. From there, it usually does ask us to update our iPhones. So we should be seeing that. If you don't see that, that's fine too, but technically you should see an update. And whenever you guys see an update, uh, the time that it takes for that to happen does depend on your internet speed. So here's the update. We're gonna update now. Do not choose later, update now. Then on the bottom right hand side, press agree. Then just let it update. Right now, I would usually tell you if this was a Mac or something like that to hook it up having charging. But iPhones, usually when they're brand new, they come at least with 70% of their battery. If uh, the battery, you guys notice that your iPhone doesn't even turn on or something like that, 
then return it or exchange it because that means there's something wrong with the phone. Anyways, right now I see you unable to, yeah, that doesn't really matter. That's just because the internet thing. So just do it again. If that happens to you guys, then just let it download and then just come back to it later on. Just let it do its thing. Don't hook it up. Don't charge it. It should have enough battery. All right. So once the update's done, just press your power key so you don't see that black screen anymore. Scroll up. You're going to see this again. Just continue on. Set up without another device. And then there we go. You guys can just continue on with the setup. So just continue. Then from here, set up your iPhone. So you can set up for yourself or a child or your family member. So we're assuming this is for you. So choose the first option. Face ID, if you guys want to import any information. So if you guys don't want to import any personal information to your phone, just set up later. So you guys can skip a lot of stuff. But if this is for you, just set up your face ID. I'm going to teach you how to. So to set up your face ID, I'm going to continue. Then from here, you're just going to move your face around. So I'm going to show you that right now actually so just get started then from here just move your face around and around and around and around and around and you are done right now you guys can use your face id with a mask without a mask i'm gonna go on don't use face id with a mask it's up to you guys then continue on use a passcode there are passcode options you guys can look at but for now, I'm just going to create one and then you have to put in a second time. And there we go. We're almost done with the entire setup of your phone. Right now, you guys can transfer your apps information. So if you guys have another iPhone, go ahead and make a backup using iCloud. Now, the iCloud space that iPhone gives you to transfer is actually free. So you don't have to pay for that space. So you guys can go into your old iPhone and they're going to give you space for free. If you guys don't have a previous iPhone, then just don't transfer anything. You guys are brand new. If you guys have an Android, I would still use don't transfer anything because the transfer from Android is pretty useless, really. So let's just use that. If you guys don't have an Apple ID, go ahead and create one. If you guys have one, put it in right now. Again, if you don't have one, tap here, second option, create an Apple ID, second option again. And then just create one first name, last name, birthday, continue on putting your email and you're done. Now we're just going to go back. And if you guys don't want to set this up with an app ID, use this set up later in settings. So you guys can always skip that. So regardless, if you guys put your app ID or you didn't, you guys are going to see this going to continue from here. I message and FaceTime continue on turn on location services. If you guys want to use maps, make sure to turn it on. And then screen time, this is something that's more for kids. You guys can set up restrictions, look up how much screen time they've been using. If you're an adult, most likely you don't care, but some of you do, so turn it on. In my case, I don't. So I'm gonna set up later in settings, which means I'm just never gonna set that up. Right now I can share my analytics with Apple or not. So you guys can choose that privacy. I always share. And same thing with your app. You guys can use that to just share with developers or not. I always choose to share because I want them to make things better. Now, as for your screen, you guys can go on and set up a light mode, dark mode, or automatic. What does automatic do? Makes it light during the day. At nighttime, it's gonna make it dark so it's better for your eyes. For the purpose of this video, it's better to make it light mode. Continue on, silent mode, okay. So this teaches you about the buttons. See this here? You guys can customize this to be anything not just your silent. So if you guys don't use that on your phone, you could customize it. Let's just continue on. And right now it's gonna tell you that exactly. It's an action button. So you guys can go ahead and customize it. If you're new to iPhone, don't customize it yet. Go ahead and press not now. Just use it as a silent thing right now. And then later on, customize it if you see fit. It's also gonna show you that this is to control your camera. Continue on. Again, it's going to highlight that because that's new to iPhones. Continue and then Siri. So you guys can set up Siri right now. But again, if you guys want to skip this part because it's not for yourselves, you guys can put setup later in settings. However, right now I'm going to teach you how to set up Siri. So let's just go on to continue. I'm going to choose voice number four because that's what I'm used to. The colors of the sky. Continue. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music, and Siri is ready. All right, so all I had to do was read anything that was said on this screen. 
continue on. You guys can share these recordings from Siri or not. It's up to you. Most people will choose not now. I want to make things better, so I'm going to share those. Emergency OS, continue on, and you're done. You're done with the iPhone setup. So right now, what you guys can do is scroll up, and these are the apps that you guys get as default apps on your iPhone. So this is an iPhone 16 Pro again, but on the 16 Pro Max, any other iPhone, you guys will see the exact same apps. So let me just show you which apps those are. So if you guys take a look here and scroll to the side, you will notice these apps here as well. And let's scroll one more time. And here's the list of all the apps that come with your phone. So these are it. If you guys want to download social media apps, go into your app store, download them. They're not paid for. They are free. There's a bunch of free apps. I've heard that a lot from other people saying that there's a bunch of paid apps like Facebook, Twitter. Well, it's not even called Twitter anymore. Instagram, that's paid on iPhones. It's not. It just doesn't come pre-installed. And yes, you do need an Apple ID to download those apps. But as far as this setup video goes, we are all done. Make sure to check out the manual of how to use this phone. I do have a separate video for that. And that would be it for this specific video. And if you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.